Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And today, I'm actually coming at you with another Dolph review. Um, I thought that I was done, but clearly I wasn't, because the next Dolph movie has come out, which is called Section 8. Which, again... <laughs> Dolph is not the star of this movie. He's a supporting character, and he's only in the movie for maybe about 10 minutes, if that. But he was a producer on this film, so, you know, I guess that accounts for something. I don't know. But, yeah, this movie uh, just came out. Um, I don't know when this will be uploaded, but it, it just recently came out on the 23rd of September. And, uh, yeah, it's just another lame, generic movie that, you know, that, unfortunately, Dolph and Scott Atkins, Scott Atkins is actually in this one as well, um, are a part of. But uh, before we get into that, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big. No amount is too small. It does not have to be just a movie review. It could be a TV series, a cartoon, comic book, video game, music, random thoughts, rants, streams, commentaries, and anything in between. That's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if you are interested, go ahead, send it in. I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. For those of you that have sent them in before, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel, and you want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them, and at the end of the day, everybody goes home happy, just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So, thank you. But Section 8. Um... This is on, I, I didn't realize that AMC has their own streaming service. I guess that really shouldn't be a surprise because apparently everyone has a streaming service now. So, yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. So I'm just so excited to talk about this movie. Um, so, yeah, AMC Plus is a streaming service and that's where this movie can be seen for for those of you that have that, and I think it's on Amazon Prime as well. I didn't pay to see the movie, just saying. But for those of you that have those services and would like to check this movie out, I wouldn't recommend it, though. You can find it on there. But again, this is just another in the seemingly endless line of movies where Dolph plays a supporting character and... He's just kind of there to, you know, make the the waves in the ocean a little bit, and then he kind of fucks off, and then he comes back, and then that's pretty much it. But you've definitely seen this movie before because it is just as generic as it could be. So the plot of the film is the lead character was in the military. He was in Special Forces. Dolph Lundgren was his commanding officer. The movie opens up with a flashback scene when they're in Afghanistan and the mission gets fucked up and Dolph saves this guy's life. So we fast forward to now. The guy is a car mechanic. He's working at this garage. Mickey Rourke runs the garage. I swear Mickey Rourke filmed all of his scenes in one day and he is never in the same frame as the lead character or that there's a scene where he interacts with this woman. They are never in the same frame together. So, again, I assume that they shot all of Mickey, Rourke, Mickey Rourke's scenes in one day. The check cleared, and he went the fuck home. So there's that. So, these gangbangers come in. One of them is played by Robert Lasardo, who... Has been in a lot of movies. He was in Out for Justice and Hard to Kill. He was in In Hell, the Van Damme movie. He was in Tiger Heart with PM Entertainment Film with TJ Roberts. You have seen him before. He is one of those, oh, hey, it's that guy type of actors. 
So they're trying to shake down Mickey Rourke's character for money. The lead character beats these guys up. He goes home later that day, and his wife and his son are murdered. Of course, he knows that it's Robert Lasardo's character. He tracks him down, kills him, ends up in prison. And then he gets visited in prison by Dolmet Moroni, who was, I remember him the most from The Wraith. He was the brother in The Wraith with Charlie Sheen. Um, he was also in Survival Quest, which is a Don Coscarelli movie that nobody ever talks about, but I enjoy. Um, he was in My Best Friend's Wedding with Julia Roberts. I guess that was the biggest movie that he was in. But he's been in a bunch of other stuff as well. And he comes to this guy, and he is the leader of this shadowy, mysterious organization called Section 8. They get him out of prison. And they want him to basically be a gun for hire to take out all these targets. He does that. He gets betrayed. You find out that, you know, they set him up. They set everything up, the murder of his family and everything, to get him to do this. You think that Dolph's in on it, but Dolph is actually on his side. But he was just making it seem like he was on the bad guy's side so he could get closer to them. Dolph's character dies anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. And he, the you know, the second half of the movie is this guy trying to survive. And then the subplot is they hire Scott Atkins because Scott Atkins is a professional hitman to try and kill this guy. So he goes after him at a couple points during the movie. They have a big fight scene at the end. He kills Scott Atkins, and then that's it. You have seen this movie before. I mean, how many times have we seen this formula where the hero gets lured in and it's not what it seems and, you know, it is just as tired as tired could be. <clears throat> um, Dolph and Scott Atkins were producers on this. Now, I don't know if they were partners with other people involved or, you know, they helped you know, puts the money in to fund this or to fund something else, and they got their name on there. You know, again, Dolph pops up in the movie when he needs to. It's, you know, half of it is a flashback scene when they were in the military. The other half is you thinking that he's with the bad guys when he's not. And then he basically sacrifices himself to save the lead character and gets killed. And then again, Scott Atkins is one of the villains. He's a hitman. He's trying to, they hire him to kill the lead guy, and it doesn't work, of course. You know, Dermot Moroni, he's the leader of this organization. And, you know, Mickey Rourke plays the guy's uncle. And again, I swear that they shot all his scenes in one day, and then that was it. And then they just cut in the reactions. But it's just a lousy movie. You know, the action sequences are nothing special. You know, it is well shot, but you not all of it because there is points when it's just a lot of shaky cam when people are standing there talking to each other and you don't need that. But, you know, you've seen this movie before. The only reason why I saw it is because it was, I found it for free online. So, yeah. And I figured, you know, might as well do this now while I'm wrapping up the doll stuff. Just so it's it's done and it's out there and I don't have to come back to it later. But yeah, but you've seen this movie before. I've seen so many way better versions of this. You know, Death Wish 4, you know, the, the Fistful of Dollars type of storyline. You know, it's not exactly that with this, but, you know, I would much rather watch Death Wish 4 than, than this movie. But yeah, again, you know, if you're really, really curious about it, if you're that bored, you know, or you feel compelled to watch everything Dolph or Scott Atkins is in, it's out there. I wouldn't recommend it. That's just my opinion. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my review of Section 8. And for now, that is the end of the Dolph stuff. I know the trailer for his newest movie just came out, where he's on a submarine. So, I don't know, whenever that one comes out, maybe if I'm really bored, maybe I'll watch it, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see what happens when that gets here. But uh, stay tuned because we got a lot of different things coming up because we're about at the Fabuween part here. So 
we'll definitely be jumping into a lot of the spooky stuff. So until the next time, take care. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk at you later. See you.